What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex. In this video, I wanna talk about when we will get an announcement for an Injustice 3. So this is coming, I mean, you know, fresh off the heels of Mortal Kombat 11, and it's part of our Mortal Kombat 11 coverage on the channel. We are giving the game away on the channel currently, so if you guys are interested in that, you wanna check that out, make sure you guys look for that video on, on our channel. It uh, came out yesterday, but I wanna talk about something that I don't think, obviously, a lot of people are talking about right now, because obviously Mortal Kombat 11 just came out, but it's looking to the future of Nether the Realm Games, the makers of Mortal Kombat, but also Injustice. I want to talk about when we will get an announcement for an Injustice 3. Now, they have a pretty simplistic uh, release scheduling that they do for these games, and it's pretty easy to follow. And so I do think they're going to follow the past of what they've done before. And what that basically is, is they announce the next game the year after their current game releases. So Mortal Kombat 10 released in April of 2015. In the following year, in June of 2015, 2016, they announced Injustice 2, which came out the following year. So, it normally takes them about a year to announce their next game and another year after that for the game to come out. Now, the question is, would they just continue doing that? I, I truly believe that's the case. I think that NetherRealm has really settled in on a really nice just format for what they do with these games. I think people really, really like Mortal Kombat 11. Besides a couple, you know, there are some flaws, the microtransactions, um, there's some things with politics, and there's some things upsetting people for sure. It's not a perfect game by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a game a lot of people are enjoying. And Injustice 2 was a game that was super, super good and people really, really loved that. I personally think the story that NetherRealm is telling with Injustice and what they've done so far with those first two games have been really, really good. Kind of giving their, their different take of the series and also obviously mixing in um, their really, really good fighting system into Injustice. I think Injustice 2 is such a fantastic game. I actually played the game when it came out and we covered it on the channel, um, so it's cool to start seeing repeating games in a franchise that we have, in fact, covered um, on podcast now for a channel only being four years old that we are. I am I would really, really be excited for Injustice 3, and, you know, Mortal Kombat has always been a franchise that I've been a, a fan of. I've always really liked those games, but I've never really jumped into them. I can't say I'm a diehard Mortal Kombat fan. I can't for sure say that I'm any good at these games. I'm not a good fighting person, uh, you know, fighting gamer at all, but I do really, really like the Mortal Kombat franchise. Mortal Kombat 11 is the first game that I've actually jumped into and bought day one and played. I'm loving it so far. I really, really think it's a fantastic game. Um, so when it comes to Injustice, Injustice 2 was also such a good game. I think people would really, really be excited for an Injustice 3. The great thing about that as well is Injustice 3 would obviously be a next generation game. It probably, again, wouldn't even get announced till E3 time around next June um, of 2020, which, you know, is, I think a couple months before the next generation of consoles. So we wouldn't get Injustice 3 when this console first releases with a PS5, the Xbox, Scarlet, whatever they end up calling it. We wouldn't get it for day one, but I do think we would get it within the first year, within the first 12 months. I do think the Injustice 3 would release probably in the same time. They've they've been nailing this kind of April through May thing for the past literally five to six years. They've done Mortal Kombat 10, Injustice 2, and Mortal Kombat 11 all within April or May. So I think to say that May or April of 2021 is a really, really good time for the next game to come out. It would be obviously a major, major fighting game releasing on the next generation of consoles. And people, you know, I, people really look up to NetherRealm games, and I do too, um, as the leader in these fighting games. They're, they're the best at the, at the craft, I think. Do they have problems? Again, yeah, absolutely they do. But the fighting mechanics of these games are very, very strong. So I, I would lay that prediction down rather well. I don't think it's necessarily a risk key prediction or anything I'm saying isn't something that somebody else couldn't think of for sure. I do think they kind of stick to their schedule and they. I think it's really cool that they're able to kind of release these games every two years and I think for the fact that it does only take two years to make these games, um, they come out looking rather good. Now again, you know, it's been four years since the last Mortal Kombat but two years ago they had Injustice 2. So every every two years they come out with a game and I think for the quality of the game they do an excellent job. So I think Injustice 3 would release in two years in the springtime in April or May of 2021. It would be for the next generation of consoles and I would expect an announcement from them as early as next June, as next May. So around this time, um, around E3 time in 2020 I think would be the time that we'll see the next game in Justice 3. I wouldn't be surprised if they already have a small team working on it, getting it ready, and I would be very, very excited to play that game, and I 100% will play that game when it releases. So guys, let me know in the comments below, what do you think?
think? How, firstly, how are you liking Mortal Kombat 11 if you played it? Um, secondly, though, what is your opinion on Injustice and when do you think we would get an Injustice 3 from NetherRealm Games? Let me know. Make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel podcast now. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up. And thank you as always for watching this video and I will see you on the next one.